Hey everyone, what's up? It's Amber Crow here, and uh, I just want to show you guys uh, what I've been working on so far. This is an example um, of the game engine that I'm working on. There is currently no GUI for the game engine. I've literally just got it started. Um, but as you can see, I have now programmed a fully functional Z depth um, with scaling and also rotation. And let me show you how the rotation works. Just let me off screen here, go to the code, player.angle plus equals one, for example. Refresh that. As you can see, the player is spinning. Yay! Now you can also change the blend types. So if I do screen, for example, hit it load. There you go. And the character is now uh, having a screen sort of effect. You can do lighten. You can do all kinds of whatever uh, fun stuff you can. Uh, this is with this is written in JavaScript. Uh, this is a canvas. This is HTML5. Um, yeah, there are some sort of minor bugs. Uh, for the from the rotation as you can see there, but I will indeed fix these. Uh, again, this is extremely early alpha. There is no GUI yet, but I do plan on making a GUI for it. Uh, it won't be like the best sort of GUI thing. Uh, it's mostly going to be the entire engine is mostly going to be programming. Um, you can also just sort of set a direct angle if you wanted to. So let's say uh, angle equals 45. Let's have him at a 45 degree angle. There you go, he's facing 45 degrees. You can see, he is moving uh, left and right based on a uh, cosine. And his z-depth and scale are also based on a cosine. You see there? He goes in and out. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, alpha channel is naturally supported. So let me see. Um, uh, opacity equals, let's do 0 0.5. Yay. All right, now let's go back to the um, the default thing, so the character does not have a blend, and it does not. Oh, oops. All right, let's change the wall's opacity here. There we go. See, the wall is slightly transparent now. Pretty cool. You can also directly um, cause the scale instead. Instead of having um, the scaling be cosine, you can actually have them just constantly be the same size, but if a z-index is changing, you probably just want to have that special effect there, uh, where he scales based on how far away he is from the screen. Um, to change the current animation frame, let's say if I go zero with this, so you can see his uh, he's walking with his uh, other foot. Now if I go 96, and if I go anywhere between that, like let's say 64, you see the sprite, the image is a little offset. So there is a fully functional sprite system working, well, in the progress of working, rather. Uh, this by this is kind of user friendly, but um, I'm gonna try and make it as user friendly as possible. But it will require programming. But the programming is mostly gonna be covered, and you'll be just, just be able to kind of use some uh, regular functions rather than um, having to. You know, like, rather than having to learn JavaScript completely, uh, I'll already have some pre-made functions. Like, for example, to make a sprite is incredibly simple. Uh, all you have to do is type var player or whatever you want the sprite name to be, equals add sprite, and then parentheses, quotations, and then the name of the actor. In this case, we have hero, and we have uh, background, and we have enemy. <laughs> the enemy is a wall. Um, <clears throat> there is not any, there is no collision yet. Um, and I'm, I'm sort of having this easy system of um, file management and all that too as well. It's a lot of cool things. Um, but, yeah, I will see you guys later and let me know what you think. And, yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. Peace out.